Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. Today I'll be showing you how to make a furnace, but before we get started, feel free to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. That way you won't miss out on any of my future projects. Let's get started. For this project, I decided to use some basic materials you can find anywhere. I started by cutting this HTF empty gas tank, which is safe to cut without making sure it's fully empty, as the gas it contains is unflammable. After drilling the hole for the burner input, I used my cordless drill with a stone bit to fit the pipe in the right angle. I then welded a threaded tube for easy disassembly for storage. Then I cut the exhaust hole and made sure it's all nice and clean. I used this plastic pipe to measure the exact length of the metal rod I'm bending. And to make it into round circles, I used my homemade roller bender, which I made in one of my previous videos, that you'll find in a link in the description below. The tank metal was too thin and quite difficult to weld in it, especially without using a TIG welder. Adding these two metal tubes will make it easy to fit the wheels on it. I also added this cover handle to easily open it when it's hot. And now it's time to mix the cement. After looking around several shops, I managed to find this refractory cement, which should be good enough for this furnace. I also put this heavy plant pot to hold everything in place before pouring the cement. Days later. I used some petrol and the air compressor to make sure the fire spins as it should, plus to add some heat to the concrete to get it drier. Then it's time to make the crucible. I started by finding the center of this base plate, then welding this tube to fit it to the lathe so it can be cut to size. And after getting it to the desired diameter, I welded it to the bottom of the tube. Baby, 
And after getting it cleaned, it's time to fit the V-shaped nozzle and the two lifting knobs that I made out of a piece of steel that I found around the shop. Now it's time to make the hunger so I can lift the crucible out of the furnace when it's hot. As you see here, it's easy to handle which helps in pouring the molten metal. For making the burner I decided to use some scrap tubing with a gas regulator and an air pump to provide enough oxygen. Unfortunately, the pump I used was too powerful, which caused the flame to go off. I found this one as an alternative. Using this high temperature primer should prevent the paint from burning off the furnace. I'm not sure why I painted it like so except that this type of painting won't show scratches as such. Finally, it's time to try it. I grabbed some bits of scrap aluminium I found around the backyard and it was surprising how fast they melt. I thought of making a sand mold for the first test. 
I always wanted to make a punch knuckle so I went ahead and tried it. Didn't turn up as expected but it wasn't so bad for first time. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.